Uh, I started playing poker when I was 18, but that was for fun. I mean, I was in a, I was, I, I spent almost, most of my time in Malaysia back then, and I was studying college at that time, and then uh, I went to uh, this restaurant where all the, cat, all the college mates hangs out. It's where nearby all the colleges, so, and then I, there's a friend of mine that's playing some really, really tiny game like maybe 50 cent one dollar Malaysian ringgit. So it's really, really small. So I was there and then they asked me to play, so I played for fun. And that's how I really first started playing poker. I got in like maybe when I was 21, two or three years later, and then I, I, went, back, I went to Macau and visit my dad. And, and I, I was already playing poker on and off, you know, but not good at that time. But, uh, and then I'm, that's my dad's friend invited me to a game. So I played, it's maybe one, 200 Hong Kong. And then I won a little bit of money and then the game got bigger. Same group of people, but the game just got bigger and bigger. And I just keep winning and winning and winning and winning. And that's how I really started getting into poker. It's great, it's awesome, but I'm not really, I don't really like playing tournaments, but it's fun playing once in a while. It, it feels great, you know, like when I started playing poker, I dreamed of winning a tournament, right? And I did it in Manila and I was happy and it was all joy. I don't feel that excited anymore. Now it's just more like a, I don't know, it's like a job or something. I started playing two years ago, I think, when the game just got really popular in Hong Kong, Macau. I started playing then. It's, it's exciting, one thing it is, it's like the it swings is massive, like you swing 20 buy-ins a day, it's crazy. <laughs> and What's the best strategy? The best strategy is you, I think most new players, the biggest mistakes they'll make is they, they're overfolding too much because the equity is too close and then you have to, there's a lot of hands that you have to go with it and people just, they don't realize it yet, but I'm pretty sure, I'm sure the longer they play, they will just realize that. PLO, for sure. Why do you like PLO? It's, it's high variance. It's a good, it's a, it's a good thing for me. And uh, it's more fun technically, it's more fun in general. You have more, you have more post flops compared to short deck because I don't really like short deck. <laughs> I play a lot of short deck now, but I don't really like them. But in short, like PLO, you have more, you have more post flop, you have bluffs, you have more bluffs, you have more value bets and stuff. It's it's more complicated than short deck for sure, and that's that's, that's why I like it. All the Chinese people that I know, um, um, I'm saying the recreational players, right? They after they play short deck, they're not turning back anymore. There's no turning back for them. I mean, like all of them that I talk to, they just said, mm, there's no way they'll ever play hold'em anymore. No limit hold'em. I think it's more, in, it's more because I, I like the thrill of bluffing and stuff, but as I get better, I know that I'm not doing the right thing. So actually, I, along the way now, I'm getting tighter and tighter. I mean, it's just the right thing to do sometimes. <laughs> 